Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Good morning, good afternoon or good evening according to the time you are watching our video today uh, Inshallah we are going to continue uh, the passive, active and passive But before we start I'd like to speak with you about time management uh, Our ethical value So I want you to use your time wi wisely Maybe you are now in uh, like a vacation or something But you can play and do the things you like and enjoy but also you should do the things that benefit you like you can uh, uh, you should watch our videos you should answer you should study somehow not all of the time but you should use it wisely okay okay like uh, let's start uh, let's revise remember when we said he plays tennis and then tennis is played by him mm -hmm. remember yes so we said that the first sentence is an active sentence Okay, but the next one is the passive one because we started with the object. We said tennis is played by him. Okay, we change it into passive by starting the sentence with the object. Then we use the verb to be, like am or is or are. In the present tense, then we put the past participle. Okay, we spoke about this last time. Okay, now, so now look at the look at this sentence and tell me what is different. Okay, now you have to look at this sentence and tell me what is happening. Okay, he played tennis. Tennis was played by him. Again, he played tennis. Tennis was played by him. What tense is used here? Yes, excellent. It is past simple. We He played. Played. Okay, now, what steps did we use to change into passive? Yes, that is great. The same steps, I think. Like we started with the object, tennis, and then we used verb to be, was, then past participle. Okay? So did we use am or is or are? Did we use am or is or are? No, of course. We used was or were. But why? Why did we say tennis was played? Why didn't we say tennis is played as we said before? Okay, now this is our lesson today. The rule. To change into passive in the past, simple tense, we use was or were. Look and see. Look at the example. She cooked fish. She cooked fish. Fish was cooked by her. Fish was cooked by her. Mm -hmm. Did you notice? We started with the word fish. After that, we used was. After that, past participle. Fish was cooked because cooked is a past simple. Now, look at this sentence. They saw a movie. They saw a movie. A movie was seen by them. A movie was seen by them. So, in the past simple, we start with the object, then we use was or were, then past participle. Okay. Your turn. Now, I will display the sentence, then try to change into passive with me. Rami wrote some stories last week. Yes, some stories were written by Rami last week. Some stories were written by Rami last week. So we started with the object, some stories. After that, we used where because stories are plural. Then we put the past participle. The second example, Adam spoke Italian, Italian in the meeting. Adam spoke Italian in the meeting. Excellent. Italian was spoken by Adam in the meeting. Italian was spoken by Adam in the meeting. So we started with the object Italian and then was, then past participle by the subject after that. Omar scored some goals yesterday. Omar scored some goals yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is great. Some goals were scored by Omar yesterday. Some goals were scored by Omar yesterday. And that's it. So we studied now. We spoke about the past uh, tense in the passive. I wish you go and revise with me the video. And uh, if you have got any question, just uh, contact us on the channel or uh, in WhatsApp or whatever. Uh, and see you later. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.